So to start our zine, we are going to learn how to fold a simple eight page zine that ends up this big. So we're going to start with A4 and we're ending up with this little guy, eight pages. OK, it's pretty simple. And I reckon if you watch this a couple of times, you'll get the hang of it fine. There's loads of different ways you can fold a zine, but this is just how we're doing it today. So we're going to fold long ways once. Don't worry if it's a little bit wonky. We can always correct it later. So once we've folded it once, we're going to unfold it again so we've got the nice crease down the middle. And we're going to take each edge and we're going to fold in and meet at the middle like that. And then again, we're just going to press down and create that crease along there. Beautiful. So once we've got this little booklet style, we're going to turn it over and we're going to fold it again long ways, OK, so that it's like that. We're causing another crease down the middle. OK, so we're just taking it straight over and folding it once more like that. So now we've got like an M shape, OK, and we're going to flip that over so that we've got like a little mountain in the middle, like a little pyramid. And we're going to push these together so that you've got this one individual flap. And then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut along this crease here in the middle and we're going to stop here at this crease. Just one clean cut along there. Like so. OK, so now what we've got is two flaps. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these, we're going to pinch these and we're just going to pull them apart from each other and let the pages fold either side okay so you've got almost like a crisscross like that and then secure these creases across here just pinch them and make little creases so you've got a cross and what we're going to do is as you can see this bit in the middle opens so these two here are actually going to be what well, one of them can be the cover so pick one side pinch it and just twist the others round to create the pages give it a nice squeeze and then this is also where if you find that certain pages are spilling out over like these are you can have a little refold little jiggle around until you've got it perfect but for now this will do and as you see we've got eight pages including the cover in the back and what you can do is with these pages that sort of flap open a little bit if they get annoying you can just just glue those down just put a little drop of glue in the corner and stick that down like that so then they become more secure and you've only got two of those anyway and that is how you make a basic eight page zine hello and welcome to part two of zine making with i don't want to go insane zine so in this video i'm going to talk you through the plan for the zine that we are going to make together today so our zine today is going to be made using the theme of a day in the life of lockdown um, so what we want you to guys to do is to pick six moments that you'd like to focus on throughout the day. And these could be anything from like calling your mum to texting your friend, stroking your cat, having a cup of tea, having a nap, wearing fluffy socks, whatever it is that you'd like to focus on. Um, and we want you to write down a list of six things. So just for a quick example, here are my six things. And then what we want you to do is to use each of these six things um, as a prompt for each of your pages in the zine. So the idea of the scene is that you will, when you finish with it, you'll have something really nice to look back on. So if you're ever feeling a bit blue during lockdown or when lockdown eventually ends, um, you can look back on it. Think of all the light, nice small things that make up your day um, that cheer you up and to be grateful for. Each of these moments um, will correspond to the six pages inside your zine um, and we want you to, for now, ignore the front cover and the back cover and we'll explain what to do with those at the end. So hopefully you've thought of your six moments that you want to put in your zine. The cover is completely up to you, do whatever you like with that. Uh, I tend to leave it to the end to do my cover so that I can sort of think of everything that the zine encapsulates and, and how I want to express that through the cover. Um, 
But today, for this moment, for your first moment, we are going to use collage. Um, when you do these yourselves, you can do whatever style you like, whatever medium, whatever form, anything you like. But just for these prompts, for the first one, we're going to do collage. So I have got some coloured paper and I've got a That's Life magazine. And I'm going to cut those up. And my first moment is opening the curtains in the morning. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, so I just did mine in a few minutes. You can spend much longer on yours. Mine is very basic, but I did some curtains and the sun coming through and I used a crossword as the curtains um so yeah do whatever you like so this is my first moment opening the curtains and letting the sky in um so yeah see what you do with collage spend longer on yours um and we'd love to see some pictures so send them in So, for number three, page number three and moment number three, I want you to do some writing. So writing can be extremely cathartic and therapeutic for mental health, for loads of different mental health conditions, or just, just if you don't even have mental health conditions, just for your own brain, just to get words out. The act of taking words out and putting them down on paper and being able to reread them has proven to be so beneficial for people's well-being. So we would like you to do page three as a poem. Now, don't be scared off by that because I know a lot of people hate poetry. But you don't have to show anyone. It can be just for you. It can rhyme. It can not rhyme. It could be short and simple and snappy. It could be a little haiku. Or it could be long and complicated, full of metaphors and similes and anything you like, whatever you feel comfortable with. But I'd like you just to give poetry a go for this page. Um, so, yeah. Give it a go, give it your best, think about how you feel in that moment, think about why you enjoy that moment and write it in a poem. Thank you. So for your fourth page, we want you to take the fourth moment that you've selected. Mine is talking to my mum on the phone. Um, and we want you to do an illustration uh, using colours that just like describe the way that this moment makes you feel. If your moment is, I don't know, uh, having a cup of tea, um, when you have a cup of tea, you feel warm and relaxed um, and happy, then you might wanna use the colors yellow and pink um, if that's how those colors make you feel. Um, so for example, I've done my moment of calling my mum um, and I have drawn this lovely, illustration um and i've used the colors of red and green because oh and yellow because my mom makes me feel relaxed happy and just a tiny bit stressed <laughs> so give yourself five minutes for that um, and then we want you to move on Hello and welcome to part six of the zine making workshop videos with I Don't Want To Go Insane. So for your back page, uh, we want you guys to write a letter to yourself. Um, it doesn't have to be like a big laborious letter. I mean, probably you won't have that much space anyway. I've only got this much space. Um, but we just want you to write a little note to yourself um, celebrating yourself and saying some nice things that might cheer you up if you're ever feeling a bit blue. So yeah, write a nice letter to yourself um, telling you how great you are um, and just reminding yourself that of all the great things that um, you do every day um, and, and all the great things that make you you. 